Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and in this quick video, we're gonna take a look at the best third-party launchers for Android. up is Action Launcher 3. This was written from the ground up to replace Action Launcher 2, but still has many of the same features along with many improvements. It's highly popular and it works really well. Apex Launcher was one of the first really popular and functional launchers on Android and remains one of the best today. It comes with modern theming, gesture controls, and there's also a free version so you can try it. Buzz Launcher's claim to fame is the absurd number of themes that are available. They are called home packs and there are over 500,000 of them, or you can create your own. It's also totally free. Everything Me Launcher is a contextual launcher that tries to guess what applications you need when you need them. It takes a bit to get acclimated to you, but there are some nice features and solid performance. Go Launcher is a very popular launcher thanks to its wide variety of themes and solid performance. It comes with a bit of bloatware that may take some time to get rid of, but otherwise it's popular and a fun option. Google Now Launcher is the official launcher of Google devices and a really popular option for Android enthusiasts. It includes Google Now support, a modern layout and solid performance, and it's also totally free. Windows 8 emulates the Windows Phone experience for those who like live tiles but don't like Windows Phone. It's a fairly convincing emulation that is actually more customizable than Windows Phone. Lightning Launcher is a unique option with a lot of customization options, but there's also a bit of a learning curve. You can create one huge desktop like you have on your PC, and it's also light on the resources. MIUI has been a popular option for years in the form of custom ROMs and now on Chinese smartphones. With My Launcher, you can get the MIUI look and feel, and it's built on top of ADW Launcher, which is a huge plus. Next Launcher 3D Shell is by far the most expensive launcher on this list, but it's a lot of fun to use. It sports a unique 3D honeycomb interface with a bunch of customization options. There's also a free version that you can try. Nova Launcher is intensely popular and comes packed with features, gesture controls, and many customization options like themes and icon packs. It is one of the most beloved launchers in all of Android, and you should definitely try it out. Smart Launcher Pro 2 has a unique interface that uses what they call the flower to organize your applications on one home screen. Along with that, it comes with an app drawer to help you find apps faster, themes, plugins, and a whole lot more. Themer was in beta for a very long time, but now it's officially out. It gives you the ability to redo your entire home screen with a variety of unique styles. It also comes with icon pack support, gesture support, and a whole lot more. Last on our list, for now anyway, is Yahoo Aviate Launcher. They've been adding new features left and right, plus the interface itself is stylish, simple, and great for those who don't need full control. It's totally free and worth a shot. That about does it for this video, folks. The video itself likely won't be updated but the written version definitely will, so be sure to check back there every now and again to see what's new. Also, I'm always down for hearing suggestions, so if I missed a really good one, and chances are I did, please let me know about it in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to follow us on social media and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and have a wonderful day.